Now, let me show you how you can improve your recovery on the tennis court so you're able to defend your court much better. Now, first, I'm gonna show you a common mistake, then I'll show you how to fix it, and then I will give you a pro tip and a great drill at the end. So make sure you stick around for those at the end. Now, let's get into the common mistake first. Now, a common mistake that I see a lot of times is when players, when they recover, they're actually facing forward towards the middle when they recover. Let me show you what I mean. So after they hit the shot, boom, they face, they run forward towards the middle. Instead, you want to side shuffle. So let me show you how to fix that. Go ahead, hit it, and then I want you to side shuffle back to the middle. Now, there are two great reasons why you want to side shuffle. Number one, you're able to take a look at what's happening on the other side. So this way, when you're side shuffling, you're able to pay attention to what your opponent is doing, and it's all in front of you. Much easier to react, much easier to pay attention to what's happening on the other side. And number two, when you're side shuffling, you're actually able to move in any direction after you split step. So you're able to move to your right, to your left, forward, backwards. It makes changing direction much easier compared to this. When you're just running forward towards the middle, it makes changing direction for example, behind you, much harder. Side shuffling after you split step makes it really easy to push back into the same direction. Now, if you wanna learn how to properly time your split step, go ahead and check out the link in the video description. It's a great video on how to improve your footwork. Go ahead and check that out after finishing this video. But let's get back into it. So reason number one, pay attention to what's happening in front of you. Reason number two, change of direction. Now, a great way you can perform at home is this. Grab yourself a Topspin Pro. If you don't have one, go ahead and check out my link in the description below if you want. It's a great tool to help you improve your game. But you can, uh, you can go ahead and drop a ball for yourself. You can go ahead and do this with shadow swings. You can go ahead and have a friend drop a ball for you. So many uh, ways you can practice this drill. Go ahead and imagine yourself hitting a ball or hitting it on your Topspin Pro and then work on that side shuffle recovery. Let me show you. And hit. Recover, hit, boom, recover. And really focusing on that side shuffle. Again, so that way you're able to see what's happening on the other side and you're able to move in any direction. Now the pro tip on this one is, when you're being pushed further off the court, instead of just side shuffling, try to take a crossover step like this. So if I'm moving, after I'm hitting, I'm crossing over before I get into my side shuffle. Now you're able to cover much more distance with your crossover step compared to just a shuffle step. Now this is really gonna allow you to push off further and faster if you're further off the court to improve your recovery even more. Now remember that a good recovery allows you to defend your court much quicker on that next shot. And that's gonna level up your game, help you get to more shots, and just win more points and crush your opponents. So go ahead and click this video next and make sure to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.